Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to uninstall your antivirus on Windows. Now it could be any antivirus and it doesn't necessarily have to be on Windows 10, but in this brief tutorial I wanted to show you guys just a couple of good practices on how to remove most antiviruses from your system. Now, before we even really jump into it, I should point out that it might seem kind of obvious, but if you actually Google how to uninstall and then you insert whatever antivirus you are currently using, you might actually find tools that are provided directly from the software manufacturer that will be the best utilized applications to actually remove the software because they actually develop the antivirus software themselves. They might have the best and greatest knowledge of how to remove it or at least hopefully they would, considering that they are providing it as a service. And people change and people don't always want to keep the same antivirus product. So one tutorial is not necessarily going to be the best practice for everybody, but it should work in most cases, assuming it's not some rogue antivirus software or other malicious application. So we're going to start by actually closing out of any windows we have open on our computer. We don't want to keep anything open. And then we're going to head over to the Start menu, and we're going to type in Programs and Features. Windows 10 should be listed right above Control Panel. Windows 7 and Windows 8 users, it should just say Programs and Features. Left click on it. So now you'll see a list of all the programs that are registered with Windows, or at least it's been picked up by the Windows installer. And we can see that we have our advanced free antivirus, which we're using in this example listed here. Now it could be any antivirus, you're just going to have to pay attention as to what antivirus you're using. Keep in mind, if you're using Microsoft Security Essentials on Windows 7 or Windows 8, you can uninstall that. However, you cannot uninstall Windows Defender on Windows 7 or Windows 8 as well as you cannot uninstall Windows Defender on Windows 10. Um, Windows Defender on Windows 10 is basically a rebranded version of Microsoft Security Essentials, which was an optional antivirus application for earlier versions of Windows. Microsoft has rebranded Windows Defender as Microsoft Security Essentials in Windows 10 very challenging to disable. I have actually made a video on my channel about how to permanently disable on Windows Defender. So if you guys are suffering from that, um, this tutorial is not going to help you with that. However, the other video I'm mentioning should. I should have a link or a card in the description of this video or in the video itself to that. But to everybody else, you just look for whatever antivirus you're using. Keep in mind for other stuff too, like toolbars or search engines or whatnot, um, because there actually could be additional programs listed here that are associated with the antivirus. Um, if you're actually not sure if an application might be associated with the same company, look for the publisher name as well. As we can see, the publisher of Avast Antivirus happens to be Avast Software. So if you have a other Avast Software installed on your computer, it would likely also have Avast Software as the publisher. So it should be pretty easy to identify and you might have to go through and uninstall multiple programs at a couple different times to fully get rid of it. But fortunately in our case we only have one program it appears. So once you've selected your antivirus you want to uninstall, you want to left click on this uninstall button right here. And now you really do have to be careful because when you do uninstall some programs it could be a little bit tricky. They don't necessarily want you to uninstall it. As we can see, we're actually receiving a one-year license of the free version because we haven't activated it yet. Um, this isn't actually really giving us anything, but you can see they're trying to deter us away from uninstalling the application. And you can see even here they give us further options. This can be especially useful if you're actually having problems with your antivirus software and you wanted to update it or repair it. However, we want to completely uninstall it, so we're going to select uninstall from the list here. And please keep in mind, you might have to agree to uh, uninstall Wizard. Um, some, of them, some of these antivirus will include um, anti-uninstallation measures to prevent um, malware or other ransomware applications from removing their protection modules. However, since this is an action that we performed intentionally, 
we're going to select yes in this case. You guys might not have that in your case as well, but just it's worth pointing out. And then sometimes you'll receive a survey as to why you're uninstalling it. We see that the uninstaller itself actually asks us questions. I don't believe we actually have to select any of these. I don't think it's going to make a difference. However, often there will be a new pop-up that will open up in our web browser. That's completely optional. You don't have to go through that. So this is just going to take a couple minutes to uninstall, and I will be right back once we get to the next screen that we have to make a decision with. Okay, so we can see that Avast has uninstalled itself. It did not ask us to restart the computer. I would highly recommend restarting your computer in any case, even if it doesn't ask you to. It happens to be kind of strange that Avast did not. It's kind of unusual. And I doubt that Avast is completely uninstalled until you actually restart your computer, but I would definitely do that before you do anything else. However, assuming you've already restarted your computer, there's a couple additional measures I would take just to make sure you cleaned up any leftover remnants of your antivirus. And one that I would highly recommend is to head back to the start menu and type in disk cleanup. Please note if you have CCleaner installed on your computer, this is going to be basically the same thing, if not a little bit better if you use CCleaner. But just for anybody who's looking to use built-in Windows applications, we're going to select disk cleanup from this menu. And it will begin scanning our system to see if, if there's any temp files, anything in the recycling bin. I do not believe that this actually checks for any registry keys that are unused. Um, that is one thing that CCleaner does pretty well. I've never actually had an issue with it. I've always backed up the registry as well, but that's something that you can do on your own. This tool is just going to run and see if there's any remnants that could be easily detected by this utility and that are not really helping your computer at all. So depending on how often you run this scan, it could take a while, so just be patient here. And once this disk cleanup is finished, okay, so we can see that the disk cleanup has detected certain files here. So we have about five megabytes of temporary internet files, and it gives you a nice breakdown of everything that is detected. And if you left click on cleanup system files, it will give you more information as well. It will do a more in-depth cleaning scan. So just left click on clean up system files once you've selected the ones that you want to remove. Keep in mind most of this stuff is safe. You don't really have to worry about it messing up your computer. You could always create a system restore point before you do anything or before you actually even uninstall your antivirus just to be on the safe side. But we're going to left click on clean up system files from this list and it again will take another couple minutes. It's going to scan further. So just be patient. Okay, so we can see it doesn't appear that it found anything additional, which is fine. At this point, you want to just left click on OK. It'll ask you if you are sure you want to permanently delete these files. Left click on Delete Files here. And this should be the last time it's going to run, so just be patient. And that's pretty much it, guys. So I'd recommend, like I said, see if there's any utilities online that are specifically meant to uninstall the program. Please keep an eye out, though, for malicious programs that might be disguised as the uninstaller. Um, there are definitely programs out there that are meant to deceive people. So when you think you're actually downloading one thing, it happens to be another. So try and make sure you're downloading it from the official software developer's website. You'd probably be better off that way than relying on a third party. I would definitely, especially with something like this, if you're not very familiar with the safe tech websites out there, I would suggest just doing it how I showed in this video. 
But that's pretty much it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this brief tutorial. I hope I helped you out, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.